Hi everyone, uh, today I am going to show you how can we calculate uh, Nettigrow's uh, values. Uh, first thing we need is three curves to calculate it. Uh, flay volume, water saturation and porosity. And I think we know how can we calculate the flay volume and water saturation. And also we know how can we calculate uh, phi, phi uh, or porosity curve, the final porosity curve. But I'll show you, or I'll remind you, how can we do these calculations. Uh, to calculate the clay volume, you have to go to this icon, and then uh, select what you have. If you have gamma ray, you have to uh, select this option. And if you have SV, you have to go to this option. And press R run, and it will be calculated. Uh, to calculate water saturation you have two options either you will use the water saturation that you have in your last file or you will uh, do that by going to uh, interpret interpretation and uh, press on water uh, for porosity and water saturation and you can calculate it by rg equation but you have to type these inputs and it will be calculated uh, to calculate uh, phi core or porosity curve you have to do some steps and i've already explained how can we calculate it in previous videos uh, but i'll remind you how can we calculate it if you want if you want to know how can we cal calculate it with details i have or i have video to, to uh, i've talked about this steps in a previous video and you can go and watch it uh, so uh, first thing you need to do is to calculate phi, uh, phi uh, density phi neutron and phi sonic and you can do that by going to calculations and press on basic uh, basic log functions and you can uh, calculate these values from this window after you're done with this you have to go to permeability and then calculate uh, th uh, permeability curves and you will use uh, th uh, three types of uh, options first thing you uh, press on use uh, to calculate it with Taymor uh, constant and then go to Mori's Bix oil and then calculate it with this temperature chart and when you press on use you it will uh, the software will use the these uh, variables or this constant after you done with that you have to upload uh, porosity and permeability course data and you can do that by going to this window uh, going to input output and then uh, load data press on ASCII load then go to the file that you have go to the file that you have and then upload them uh, and now you have to do some steps to uh, calculate uh, final porosity curve. Uh, what we will have to do is uh, to make cross plot between phi core and phi log. I've already done uh, these uh, cross plots. Uh, so first the cross plot it will be it will be between. Uh, phi neutron and phi core and the second one between phi uh, between phi sonic and phi core and this is between phi uh, density and phi core as you can see it's clear here uh, between phi density and phi core and then you will select the best uh, cross plot that will uh, give you equation and then press on uh, right click on the cross plot that you have selected and press on regression and uh, select RMA or this equation 
this linear equation by pressing on apply your curve uh, or your your equation will be uh, calculated then you I'll show you the equation that we have got of course you have to do this cross plots for every uh, single layer that you have done so you will get equation for every uh, single uh, unit that you have now what you have to do is to go to uh, this equation and copy it and then apply a and then apply copy it and then apply it in apply it here go to the well that you need to calculate its porosity and uh, press on calculation then use formula then paste this equation of course you have to select the unit that you need as I am uh, copy it for uh, MC2 I will put this okay then by click on run it will be calculated of course you will do this for every single uh, unit that you have and this is the final curve that you will get so you will use this to uh, calculate the degrowth after that you have to uh, go to this icon or go to interpretation and press on uh, cutoff and uh, summation uh, to calculate uh, the final net gross value uh, now now uh, I will leave that default for a clay volume porosity and water saturation and press on run press on yes so this is your, what you will have So uh, now you can uh, select the values of cutoff uh, by dragging this vertical line to left or right. Uh, uh, you can know the value of uh, cutoff of porosity cutoff. But before that, I have a mistake here. I didn't uh, put this value. I have to with the final curve that I have calculated so uh, I will do it again here we have to select the, fi the final curve that we uh, calculated so the final curve I've named it as, I've named it as uh, phi core and these are correct so now i can apply it so you can see here it's five core here you can uh, control uh, the values of cutoff by dragging this vertical line to left or right and uh, Let's change this color. So the pink one is uh, the reserve, the reservoir uh, 
the net reservoir and in the black one the net play so you can uh, select the value of cutoff by making a cross plot between uh, uh, porosity and permeability of course this is the final curves and by uh, selecting the uh, the value of uh, per permeability cutoff uh, let me show you the value uh, we will uh, select the value of permeability cutoff is uh, 0.1 so the final result that we will got by it's the phi, phi cutoff which is 0 0.052 now we can apply this here uh, this is an MC2 unit this is MC2 and I will select 0 0.02 which is by fraction uh, 5% and I think here is 5 and if we go to another layer we will see the value will change I've also selected the value of uh, permeability cutoff is 0.1 and this is the phi cutoff that I've got which is 0 0.0939 uh, which is 0 And you can do it for every layer that you have after you're done with uh, that you can uh, go to this icon which is uh, to use to display uh, cutoff values uh, go to the reservoir cutoff then uh, press on print and go to tab, to tab delimited file uh, and select the place that you need to save your data in and then your data will be saved as text file so as you can see here this, this is the top and the bottom of the unit that you have and this is the gross and this is the net and net of gross and now you can upload them to Bitwell. I will do another video to show you how can how can we upload them to Bitwell.